And welcome to Grill Man's Garage. We're outside in the backyard today. It's a beautiful day, nice early morning, about 9 30, 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, not too warm. Really nice day. Nice day to have a flight. What do we have today? We have the Hubson Ace 2. Okay, Hubson Ace 2 with a one inch sensor, one inch camera. There's also another one inch camera from Hubson, and that's the Hubson Mini one inch. Okay, so. I've had pretty good luck with almost every drone I've gotten from AliExpress or Hubson or Femi or other places, etc., etc., etc. Except this one. Okay? This one, it's the one with the dual batteries, the 3200 milliamp and the 5000 milliamp. It comes with the charger and the nice little black case and the controller and all this kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, it, uh, from the very beginning, we had problems with contrasts and some of the photos that it would take would look like there was a, a, a whitewash over it, like a very foggy day. And we went back and forth with Hubson for over a month, maybe close to two months. And they finally decided to ship me out a new gimbal. So they said, you got no problem changing the gimbal out? I said, no, oh, no problem at all. So I did that. No instructions, no nothing, just here's the gimbal, you figure it out. Okay, not a real problem at all, and I'll show you a little clip of that if I have time for that. Basically, there's only four screws in the bottom, one, two, three, four. Take them out, and you can have a look at how it's connected. There's two connectors. You take a little bit of the glue off, which is really good because it's not the permanent epoxy glue. It's more like a sticky glue, and you can pick that off flip up the connectors, put the new connectors in, put the four screws back in, and you're done. And it's either going to work or it's not going to work. There's no halfway in between. So it worked. Okay. Did that solve the problem? Uh, no. My other problem right now I have with this is about every fourth flight, and I've had about 30 or 40 flights, trust me. Every third or fourth flight, it asks for a compass calibration. Don't know why. And every once in a while, when I start it up, the screen, when it connects to the drone, it looks like it's in sapia mode, like that old, antique bronzy-looking stuff. And what I have to do is I have to hit... I have to hit camera parameter reset. So it sets all the camera parameters to default, whatever that is. And then it kind of jogs back to being normal. But they're normal is a little oversaturated and under contrasty, just a minute little bit. Sometimes it's worse than others, just like the Femi's. In the bright sunny days, it's worse. In the cloudier days, it's not too bad. Okay, so there you go. The Hubson Ace 2. Is it a worthwhile investment? Does it fly? Yes, it flies. Does it have a good flight controller? Yes, it does. Is it controllable with the sticks and very smooth? Yes, it is. Okay. Does it have a good range? Yes, it does. One of the best of the Hubsons. Okay. Does it have long battery life? Yes, it does with the 50 or 5,000 milliamp battery. The 3,200 milliamp battery isn't bad either. The downside of that is it's a plus 250 gram drone. So for Canada, it's got to be visual line of sight. You've got to have a spotter. Everything you do to it, you have to record. Okay, for instance, we had a little crash here because of some something went wrong with the connections and stuff, and it rose up off the ground, hovered for a second or two, and then just decided to land, and it landed on the side of the chair, and the propeller smashed and hit and broke and all that kind of stuff. But having said that, I don't even know where I was going with that. Hmm. Where was I going with that? I'll have to reread it. I don't know. But uh, yeah, the uh, said, oh, yes, I remember. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay. If you have a plus 250 gram drone in Canada, you have to keep records of everything you do. Like, for instance, when I changed uh, the gimbal, when I changed the propeller, I have to have basically a video of it, me doing it, because I'm not an authorized dealer. To make sure that I do it correctly. Uh, I change the prop, I have to 
cataloged right down what props I changed, why I changed them, when I changed them, who changed them, what tools I used, etc., etc., etc. I mean, you know, I have to keep these records for a number of years. It goes on and on and on. The, uh, the sections in the rule book, or whatever it is, the rules and regulations, I think it's section 900 or something. It also covers the sub-250 drones, but the sub-250 drones only have to do by one rule. Don't be an idiot. That's it. Pretty well. Okay. These ones, you can't go over 120 meters high. You can't fly over people. You can't go near buildings. You can't do this. You can't do that. You can't do this. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Unrestricted air, space, and all, whatever it is. Okay. All kinds of regulations for the plus 250 drones. So in Canada, why would you bother getting one? Well, if you're in a really windy area and that's what you want, yes, I, I guess you could, okay? Are the imagery or is the imagery any better on this than let's say a Femi or a DJI Mini 4K? No, and we're gonna look at that, okay? We're gonna look at just the raw imagery. We're gonna try, try and tweak it a little bit. We take some pictures about the autonomous modes. There's a ton of autonomous modes. It even has Waypoint Mission Planner. Not a very good one, but it has one. And you can't set a mission offline, not unless you're connected to the drone. You have to be connected in the drone, up in the air type thing, or connected to the drone to set a mission, really. You can do it offline, but don't turn your computer off or your device off then you have to start your drone right away and then you can fly okay and you can put the waypoints anywhere you want as long as you've got battery you're going to get there okay uh, unlike with a femi you can only do that if you make it offline and save it okay? if you try and make it online when you're connected you won't be able to go beyond that one kilometer red ring okay but the femi waypoint mission planner is a lot more robust than this one some of the other autonomous flights, like the orbits, where I really like the one where you, you have the choice. You can have the orbit where you fly over the center and then you back off to get the radius. It'll go around or you do it by imagery where you look at this. So you have a house you want to just draw a square around the house, let it go, and you can adjust the height and the distance while you're going. Okay, so it has some fun features and stuff. But all these autonomous modes, they're just gimmicks, really, okay? As far as price goes on this, not a chance. I mean, in Canada, there are people selling this for $1,800 Canadian. $1,800 Canadian. If you buy it from AliExpress, it's going to cost you about $1,100, maybe a little bit more, okay, Canadian. Eh, $1,000, $1,100, let's say, okay? Canadian. That's a lot of money. Okay. The disadvantage of buying overseas is it's from Hubson. You buy it, you play the lottery, you roll your dice, and that's it. Your money's gone pretty well because it's going to take you six months of arguing to try and get your money back because they're never going to admit that they're wrong. Okay. And they're going to convince you to send it back to them. So that's the same with pretty well all of them they, they'll never they really really try like an insurance company they really really try not to process a claim or not to have you make a claim against them because they they want to keep your money so the price of the hubson drones is way out of whack compared to the others on the market and what's available now and for the price point now that price point of let's say this time u.s dollars that price point of $300 can get you an amazing drone where US dollars, these would be seven, eight hundred, nine hundred. Okay. You come to Canada and try and buy them from Amazon or Best Buy, you're looking 15, 16, 17, 1800 dollars, depending on the kit you buy. Okay. It just insane amounts of money but you can buy a femi 
you can buy a DJI, you can buy a Potensic for less than $400 Canadian or around that amount of money. So yes, Hudson, very expensive, okay? So, oh, the puppies are running around like crazy in the dirt and the dust, there you go. So let's get it on the pad, let's get it up, let's take some video and some pictures Okay, we're back. We've got it on the landing pad, the takeoff pad, my pizza box, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and we've got it on here. We've got the Alda Cube iPlay 50 Mini Pro tablet. Okay, it, it also just had an update, which hopefully makes it a little bit more stable than it was. I've had some good success with this tablet and the Hubson Ace 2. Uh, yeah, the Ace 2. I tried it with my other tablets, and for some reason, five minutes, eight minutes into a flight, it would just disconnect. I tried it with another tech class I had, the same thing. It appeared to be good for eight, nine minutes sometimes, and then all of a sudden, I'd lose connection. I had no idea, it just would go blank. And then you'd have to unplug and plug in, and it would be coming down because it returns to home and you unplug, plug in, and I was successful in getting it back, but it was very, very scary a lot of times. Okay, so what do we have here? We have, well, it didn't do that. Let's try, start this again. Three, two, one, there we go. Okay, let's enter the device. And we're good there, and that's what we've got. So we're going to go through this and we're going to change everything back to stock, okay? So if we go into the parameters here and we go to the bottom, it says reset camera parameters. Let's just do that. And you should see a little thing come up here. It says camera reset successful. Okay, if we switch over to the video there and we go into here, and we've seen everything is reset because I did have these up. Contrast I had up to 20 and 30. And the saturation I had down to 40. Oh, pardon me. I had the contrast up to 60. And I had the saturation down to 30. And then I tried um, 50, 55. I tried 45, I tried all kinds of things and it changes it. So what we're gonna do is we are going to format the memory card, get rid of all the junk that was on there. And there was a lot of junk on there. And we're gonna get it up in the air. Okay, so we have enough satellites, we're good to go. The obstacle avoidance is turned off. Does the obstacle avoidance work? Yes, and if I hit this, you can't do anything until you take off, but this is what the screen looks like, okay? you can have shut off, break, or bypass. And in bypass, it goes up to it and it goes around. Does it work in ideal conditions? Okay, so you're not flying into the sun, okay? And you're not flying into a white brick wall, okay? Or something with no contrast or texture. It works fairly well. Would I trust it? not in a million years. What I do like about this is it has the downward sensor for your below five meter warning. So let's get it up in the air and let's see what happens here. Here we are. There it is. There we are. Now to me, that looks super saturated, okay? And if I go into here, I'm looking for that. I thought I had to turn that on. Search parameters, anti-wind, above ground. That one there, that's what I want on. Oh, sorry. I want that one on. Okay, there you go. Okay, you see that? I want that on because it tells me if I back up over my um, roof, it tells me if I'm below five meters, which I really like. Okay. So let's get this going, and this is, I'm not touching anything. I'm, I'm not going to say that what I'm looking at on the screen is ideal color profile, okay? So we're just gonna go as it is, back up, go look at the lake, come back, change some things, take some pictures, do it again. So here we go. 
I'm not going to go into the automatic modes because they're all over here. Okay, create a video. I'm too low, but create a video. You can do your dronies and things like that. The range mode is basically a drony as well. Line fly, you just pick two points. You go from A to B. Okay, follow mode, you can either follow the GPS of the controller or the person or whatever. And they do work if you're in an open area and there's a contrast between what you're following and what you're not, unless you're doing GPS. Okay, hyperlapse, and yeah, I don't know why anybody would want to do it because you're gonna be standing still for like half an hour to get, uh, what, 10 seconds or 20 seconds? There you go. Waypoint, we spoke talking about that. Orbit, we spoke about that. Blockbuster mode, I have no idea what blockbuster mode is. I'm too low, okay? And normal mode, we're in normal mode. Okay, let's start the video. Okay, and we're gonna go, turn it this way, and we're gonna go back and up. Well, have a look at, well, you can tell by looking at that camera. It's pretty steady today. Yesterday, and I just did a compass calibration yesterday, and there's no wind, it was moving a little bit, and then the camera, I could see it, so it's very random, very random. Anyway, okay, so we're going this way, and we're going up and back. And again with the horizon tilt. That's another thing for Hobson. But it does it does even out pretty good. Okay. So we're gonna head out here and we're up about 29. We'll go up about 40 meters. 35, 45 meters. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And we'll head out towards this lake. And we're gonna do it out and back this way. We're not gonna go too far. We'll go out and back just to look at the coloring, okay? And then I'm gonna switch the coloring a little bit to see if you can tell the difference, okay? And I'd say that's far enough there, and I'm gonna stop there and have a look at that coloring, okay? Then we're gonna stop, well, no, because we don't have to stop the video. We're gonna go in here, and we're gonna go down on the saturation, five, okay? I'm going to come up two or three here. There we go. And we're going to come back. See if that's any better. And we're all at zero here. Okay, so we're just going to come back. Now, the screen I'm looking at, it looks better. The colors look better. They don't look all washed out. But you'll have to be the judge of that. Okay, there we go. So let's turn this around. I'm gonna stop this video, and we're gonna take a picture. Okay, stop the video. Now we're gonna switch over to picture. Okay, it's a zero, and in here, it still has the same settings as the video. Take a picture took a picture and we're going to go around this way and we're going to take another picture put it down Boom. I like this house so we're just going to take a picture of the house There we go. And we're going to take a picture. Boom. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go back into here and we're going to return to parameters. And you notice, there you go. You notice what happened here? It went back to, doo -doo -doo. Oh, no. okay. So let's go to video. Video. And you notice in the bottom here where it says bit rate, 
a hundred. I don't want a hundred bit rate because that will take forever to render. So I'm going to go 50. Okay. And we're going to, this is all on normal. Okay. This is all, we've just reset the parameters again. Okay. And we're going to go up a little bit here. We're going to head out this way a bit. I'm going to change that parameter a little bit. Okay, there's that. Okay, now let's change the parameters a little bit, and we're going to go here. We're going to go to here, and we're going to go contrast one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Oop, not that far. Fifty. Forty. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, we're going to come back. Okay. Is it too washed out? Do we not have any color at all? It's an overcast day. Very overcast. Oh, there's lots of trucks around too. Should be seeing one just about now on the corner there in the bottom left. There it is. Yeah, how far can we go? He's only going to go to the, the uh, quarry here. There he is. Okay. And he turns in there. Let's turn these back to reset. Reset. And we're going to keep on going there's another one coming out so let's go over this way there he is come back at 48 meters there we go And he should be making a turn pretty soon. And we're going to go behind him. There he is. He thought he'd be there. There we go. There you go. So how is that with the contrast? Okay. And there's the house. There we go. We're back again. And we're going to take a picture here. Stop this. Go over. And to me, on my screen, this looks really washed out. Okay. It really does. So, let's go into the parameters again. And we're going to go... 4, and we're going to go... 8. Take a picture. Back to video. Video, okay. 
And we're going to come back here. And bring it down. Here it comes. There we go, and the two puppies. And we're sitting there. Okay. Oh, the bugs. So that's it. Let's get this shut down. And what's it look like? Turn around here for a second. I'm looking at it. Let's go up a little bit. Okay. I'm looking at it and it's off a little bit. It's off a little bit, 55. Hmm. Hard to say. Whoa, that's not right, is it? That's not even close. Thirty and sixty, what's that like? I say doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad at all, really. Let's go forward. Let's turn around. Not too bad, there's Penny. Okay, coming closer. There we go. I'm looking at things and, uh, yeah, you see it going around a little bit. But it's not too bad, it's not too bad. Okay, um, yeah, that's about it. So let's get it landed and uh, can I do it here? I did this yesterday, so let's see if we can do it again. Bingo. Don't forget to stop the video. Hi, Chew. And turn this off. Has a fan on it, so we're still good. Okay. There we go. The Ace 2. It flies great. It's very easy to maneuver, okay? The video is the big thing, and Hubson's always had a problem with cameras, okay? It's never just point and shoot, okay? Uh, it does have all kinds of uh, manual modes. You can set the ISO, you can set the white balance, you can do all that kind of stuff. It's just a pain in the butt. I mean, I can put a DJI Mini 3 up or the Mavic Mini up, and it just takes a good picture without any problem. So. The Ace 2, it's a great flying drone. It flies forever. It's got a great distance, great connection, connectivity, etc. Let me turn this off. Okay. The main, main downfall, two things. Oh, really? Two main things. A, it's way over 250 grams. To me, that's a biggie for around here. Okay. But... Maybe not for others, okay? That's that's one. It is over 250 grams. The other one is it's so expensive compared to everything else on the market, okay? And you do not have reliable customer service, okay? If you bought it from a Canadian supplier, 
like Amazon, Best Buy, the Bigley Brothers, let's say, with a 30-day guaranteed return, no questions asked. Even if you did that, okay, you're out an awful lot of money, okay? But at least then you've got an avenue to return and not be out any money. Okay? And I won't say that some people do that, but they do. They get it from Amazon or wherever, they try it out, they send it back, and they go on Am AliExpress and try and get a better one. Okay? Yeah, I've, there's all kinds of stories like that. Uh, don't, don't even get me going on return policies for stores. But anyway, Hubson Ace 2. It's okay, but the camera's not near perfect. And since I've had this, what, two months, three months, okay? Not one update has ever come out. Nothing. Nothing. And on online reviews, and I'll say I'm a reviewer, I'm not an influencer, I'm a reviewer, okay? There are not many reviews on this product, okay? Not saying this is a review, this is just my experience with this particular unit, okay? And if I have this particular experience, I'm not going to be the only one. And as I've always said, Hubson, like Femi, or Potensic, or whatever, it's a lottery. You never know. You don't know what you're getting until you get it, and even then the quality control and how it's assembled could be different from Monday to Tuesday to Wednesday. You just don't know, and the amount of returns on these products is astronomical, okay? I can just imagine Hubson selling these in their own backyard, how many of them are returned. Phenomenal. It would be unimaginable. Anyway, that's enough of that. Hubson Ace 2. It's a great flyer. It does as you want it to do. I just can't justify the money. I just, I really can't. Okay, but till next time, take care. Remember, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the bell, and go out and get some exercise. Okay, just like the puppies. Talk to you later. Bye now.